Now what we need to do is sort out the texture of the uh, of the skin. What we're going to do here is I have this dried mud texture. This is a fantastic texture. Um, again, I mean, you know, if you want to try and get this, uh, just type in dried mud texture onto Google, and it should hopefully bring something up similar. Okay, drag it onto your photo, the one that you're using, nicely to the top. Resize it over the whole thing. Up there. And then we're going to go to normal. Open it up and click the one that says overlay. That's going to do that to it. Okay. Right then, at this point, if we go down into the bottom right hand corner and we see a little square with like a circle on. Um, I'm sorry, I've not deselected that, so let's. There we go, that sorts that out. Uh, square with a little white circling, just click that. It's going to create a mask on the side there, a mask panel. Now, if you select the brush tool, if you have the colour black selected and you rub it over like that, it will take out whatever you don't want. Firstly, if you want to put it back or you've made a mistake, select the white brush. Uh, white color and it will bring it in like so okay now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take a reasonably large brush in this case about 100 um, hardness 0% and with the black color so I'm taking out is I'm going to outline the areas that I don't want this texture okay Sorry, I'm going to outline the areas that I do want the texture, and then in a moment we're going to take it all out. So we'll speed it up just while I go around this line. Okay, that's done. Now, if we change the overlay back to normal, like so, it leaves this big line. Anything outside of that line you want to get rid of. So now we can get a larger brush, and uh, this case I'm going to go around 200 hardness. Uh, 100%. Okay, and once you've done that, we're going to send it back to overlay, and we're going to go ahead and do the fine detail. So you want uh, a smaller brush. Uh, we'll say around 65. The reason I'm doing it this side, I mean, this is quite a large photo, if I'm honest with you. So the brushes will vary. Okay, so we're going to zoom in there. I'm going to take out the overlay detail around the eye. I've gone a little too far there. If you ever do anything you will need to do a quick undo, just control Z, just like any other program. Take out all the texture on the nose and also on the teeth. So that leaves us looking for something like that. So now we can go to the next stage. Uh, in this case, I'm going to create a new layer with a new layer tab. I'm going to select the fill bucket tool. I'm going to change my color to a brown. Now, the type of brown you use will change the final effect. So you want a reasonably because it's a dark picture, you want a reasonably dark brown. And uh, we're going to fill the whole thing in brown, like that, okay? And we're going to change uh, the type to color at the bottom there. And that will do this to it, okay? And we're going to do another layer, and we'll do almost the same thing. At this, this time, we're going to use blue. And I want quite a dark blue there. 
and I'm going to overlay it in time. Okay. There we go. So I mean, that's pretty dark already. Lovely. That's what we like. Okay. So all the texture on the skin and everything seems to be coming out quite nicely there. Um, we're going to then put a bit of colour into it now. Before I do that, I've noticed that up on the forehead area just here, all the cracks and lines aren't as obvious as the rest of the face. So I'm going to select the burn tool. Okay, I'm going to go to highlights. It's just there. And make the brush a little, quite a lot bigger. Uh, we'll go to 200. And I'm literally going to burn out the skin. And what that's going to do is it's going to darken the picture underneath and it's going to emphasize the cracks on the skin. I mean, look how awesome that looks. I mean, that really does look cool. Okay. Right, okay. So let's select, uh, let's get going a bit closer on the eye that isn't on the skull side. So in this case, my left hand eye. Okay. And we're going to select the paintbrush, color red. And this time you want to experiment with the size of the brush that you want. Okay, so 200 is obviously really too big. I think 100 is going to be too small. Um, I'm going to go for around 160 thereabouts. There we go, that's almost perfect. Create a new layer. Hardness here is at zero. Press once. If you want to terminate a style eye, fantastic. Okay, then we're going to uh, get another brush to create the pupil. Now, uh, that looks about right, but you've got to remember this time the hardness has to be at 0%. Okay, so let's go to the center of the eye, one click. Then we can make that even smaller. Uh, nine's a good size, this time we're going to use white. I'm going to create a little shine on there, and then we'll go even smaller, we'll say five, uh, a little bit higher, to create that shine even further. Okay, let's take a look at that. And there's your final product. Right, well I hope that's uh, helped you out, yeah, I hope you make your own uh, of these. And when you do make your own demon picture of yourself, what I would love you to do is send them to me in a video response. Um, I'll comment on every single one that I get. Uh, have fun doing this. I've enjoyed making this video. Um, and I hope to hear from you soon. So comment, rate and subscribe and don't forget to send your responses. I'll see you later guys. Until next time. Bye bye.